Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. As you can see, today we're going to be starting a new game. This is Ys, Memories of Celseta. So this is a game that originally came out on the PlayStation Vita, and um, it is basically Ys 4. I think Ys 4 was actually two different games, and uh, it was either on Super Nintendo or Nintendo. I don't. I think it was Super Nintendo. I don't really know. But um, I only have experience with one other Ys game, and that's Ys 8. Uh, that I played on the Nintendo Switch, and that was a fantastic game. So, because I love that game so much, um, I was really excited for this to come out as a basically definitive edition on the PS4 Pro. It's going to be running in 1080, 60 frames per second, and I'm excited to play it. Now, this is an older game, once again, that was originally made for the Vita. So, it's not going to be the most beautiful thing in the world, but... I've heard that the gameplay is very similar to what uh, East 8 was like. And if that's the case, I'm going to really enjoy this. So let's get going. Um, we're going to try it on hard. I said, mm, yeah, we're going to try it on hard. I'm not doing Nightmare. Um, honestly, like, I'm good at RPGs in general, but action games, which this is an action RPG, uh, sometimes it really just depends. But we're going to try this on hard and see how it goes. Edel Kristen, an adventure of great renown whose exploits are widely discussed and hotly debated to this day. His enterprises are recorded in over 100 volumes of personal travelogue, which paint a vivid picture of the world and set the imaginations of those who read them ablaze. Indeed, a significant number of historians continue to believe that the Age of Discovery came about as a result of Adel's travelogues and the thirst for adventure their contents spur. So this game uh, follows Adel. Um, every single game in the series follows Adel, but um, he's it's not really important that you have played them all in order to understand the story. At least that was not the case in East 8, and I've heard that it's not the case in pretty much all of these games. So don't worry about that, even though this takes place in East 4, technically, in the run of things. Uh, you don't need to know too much. However, readers have often found themselves wondering at what point Adol Kristen, born in a poor village high in the mountains, began referring to himself as adventurer. Historians and scholars have proposed countless theories to address this. Yet in truth, the answer is recorded clearly in one particular volume of Adol's travelogues. The adventure I am about to recount took place two years after Adol left his homeland. Eighteen years of age, his curiosity at its peak. Where would his thirst for the unknown guide him next, and what wonders awaited him there? Let us look back on the events which occurred in the great forest of Celceta, and share in Adol's passion for adventure and discovery. But seriously, East 8 is such a good game, so... Frontier City of Kaznan. I told you it would not be the uh, prettiest of games. Once again, Vita, guys. An older Vita game, so... <laughs> Give us some breaks. Give that cat a break. Give the janky animations a break, and give it a chance. <laughs> Red-haired youth. A couple of miners are talking nearby. Hey, you heard the latest news? Seems they found another gold vein. Yeah, I heard the head miner went to check it out a while ago. Way I hear it, there are veins all the way into the Great Forest. Ha, this gold rush business really never lets up, does it? Still, are they seriously planning to start messing around in the forest? Don't even joke about that. Going near that place isn't worth all the money in the world. You can't spend it if you're dead, after all. Okay, forest is a place of danger, it appears. I've seen roughly the first hour of this game, so what I'm watching right now is not going to be new for me, but basically past that, everything's going to be new. Um, I just wanted to see if it looked like East 8, and it really did, so yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to enjoy this. Knowledgeable man? Can't believe it's been five years since Celceta came under Roman control, and the city has never been more active. Hmm, a happy accident. The Romans don't give a damn about us. Until they struck gold, they couldn't even be bothered servicing the roads around here. 
Well, I hear there's going to be a new governor general soon, for what it's worth. Who cares? Nothing's gonna change. They just come over here, put all their effort into lining their own pockets, and then as soon as the money runs dry, the cycle starts, o starts over. I suppose you're right, but... Wait, hang on. Looks like a Roman officer. And a pretty hot one at that. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. I wish they'd at least end the war with Altago so I could do business in peace already. Couldn't agree more. Feels like they're just dragging their feet at this point. Alright, so our boy Adol here does not look like he's doing too well. He's, uh... Got a bit of a limp there, doesn't he? Oh, jeez. Watch it, you idiot. Look where you're going. Oh, damn! Adol was completely exhausted. He couldn't even muster the energy to stand up. Hm, that all you got, kids these days? I tell you, no backbone at all. Boy just got laid out. Where am I? Who? Who am I? Okay, so we got ourselves a case of the uh, traditional RPG forgetfulness syndrome, right? Amnesia, once again. All right. Our boy Adel has amnesia. At least that puts us on the same uh, footing as him, right? Um, we don't know what's going on, he doesn't know what's going on, so we can come into this game not knowing anything, and everything will be just fine. These games are all about exploring and adventuring, so... And the music's really good. I don't know who this girl is, but she looks like waifu material to me. Okay, maybe one of the big bads? Her too, maybe? Hard to say. Goodness, life is full of surprises. To think that someone would wind up collapsed in a heap in the middle of a bustling city like this. I don't really remember anything. Huh, well, aren't you an interesting young man? Now, I'm sorry, though, I can't look after you just because you say you've lost your memories. You'll have to deal with that on your own. <laughs> She's like, I've heard that one before. I've met RPG protagonists before. But I should at least be able to give you somewhere to rest you, your weary bones for a spell. So do take it easy. That was a nasty spill, and I hate to see it happen again. All right, well, Peach seems pretty nice. At all? What a peach. Is that you, at all? Hey, some voice acting. There you are. Silver. I finally found you. Haired man. It's me, your old pal Duran. I thought I told you to let me know if you managed to make it back alive. Who are you? Uh-oh. Oh boy, that's really not funny. Especially since I just said my name two seconds ago. It's Durin, remember? <laughs> but never mind that. You did it! I can't believe you came back alive from the Great Forest of Celseta of all places. They say when you set foot in there you lose all sense of direction and never come out again. Maybe you lose your memory? Hmm? Maybe? Supposedly lots of gold in those woods, but Ispani and Rom both keep their distance, so there's no map to be found. 
I tried to stop you, man, and once you stepped out that gate, I thought you were a goner for sure, like all the others. But here you are, proving me wrong. You're my favorite source of money. I mean, my dearest friend. Ha! <laughs> so, mercenary, maybe? Darren here? <laughs> all right. Now, straight to business. No offense intended if I cut to the chase, but I am an information dealer after all. Okay, maybe not a mercenary, but an information dealer. I want all the intel you've got about the Force, and don't you dare skimp on the details. Um, tell him the truth. Adol confessed to Durin that he'd lost all his memories. What? Come again? I said what I said? You've got to be kidding me. So you don't even remember who I am? Or who you are, for that matter? Oh boy. Oh boy is right. What the hell happened to you in there? Actually, forget I asked. In fact, forget we ever had this conversation at all. My instincts are telling me you got yourself into some big trouble in that forest and I want no part of it. Sorry, man. Don't take it personally. I just know a bad deal when I hear one. Hey, what's wrong? We've got a problem. The mine. There are monsters in the mine. What? So, monsters just showed up in that newly dug tunnel? It does lead to some old ruin. No surprise there'd be monsters in a place like that. Either way, times like these are what we have the Roman army for, right? Oh yeah. Leo, where's Commander Leo? Uh, he's not here right now. It seems he's out doing some sort of military training exercise. Even worse, the soldiers are still here and just panicking. They have no idea what to do. Well, a lot of good they are, huh? Seriously? Man, they really are useless. Finally get a chance to do something useful for once and they just freak out. Yeah, it seems like the uh, Roman occupation here is, um, I don't know, not the smoothest, it appears? Are there any miners who didn't get out in time? I don't know, it was every man for himself in there, so nobody really paid much attention. Can't blame them for that, I guess. Anyway, we can't just sit around, let's get to that mine. Right. No way. Sounds like there's a whole lot of trouble down at the mine. Adol, I'm gonna go take a look. See ya. Okay, basic controls. Move using the left thumb stick or, yeah, general things. Press square to talk. Um, press uh, square when an exclamation mark appears to examine. You got it. Okay. Well, look at that. 60 frames per second. Don't let him hit you. Oh. Let's get him. Interesting. So we can't move the camera left, right, up, or down, but we can zoom in and out. Okay. That's with the right thumbstick that I'm doing that. Let's go right there. Things like this have been known to happen on occasion during mining ex excavations. I just hope no one gets injured. Don't worry. I'll keep a spot reserved for you to rest, though it looks like I'm going to have to get ready to accept some injured people in here as well. Sorry, but can you wait until I finish setting things up? Normally the inn would be getting quite lively about this time of day because of all the miners returning from work. I sure hope they're all okay. Leluca. Well, Leluca, you look lovely. Okay. Yeah, somewhere around here is probably where I want it. A monster in the mines? Are you going to take a look as well? Make sure you don't relax your muscles then. Keep them fired up like a Picard on the spit. Huh, I am a man. You are indeed. <laughs> Alright, anything to examine? Also, is there a run button? Okay, there's that little dodge thing. Various quests are displayed on the board. Okay, we'll probably get more with that later. Alright, I'm pushing buttons to see if there's a run. Um, that was, uh, the L2 brought that up. Nothing on any of the other triggers at the moment. Okay, that's probably our room where we can rest. All right, let's get out of here. We probably want to take a look at the options menu at some point, just to see if there's anything there we want to look at. 
Maybe change. Okay, saving progress. Press options to open the camp menu, then select system. Select the save icon to save. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. So, system, save. Okay. Now, can we save multiple lines? Yes, we can. Good. I like, I like that. Um, especially as a uh, YouTuber. <laughs> okay, skills, items. All right, let's go back to system. Check out options. Background music, sound effects, voice, AI, offensive, or evasive. Those are our only two options, it looks like, at the moment. And we can change our difficulty if we find hard to be too difficult. I think we can manage hard. Let's let's try and manage hard. Um, when possible, I like to uh, start on hard and then see where it goes. You know, at, at least one up from where the normal setting is is usually okay. I can't believe Evan actually wants to see a monster. He really is fearless. I'm scared just thinking of them. Monsters? What kind of monsters? I want to see them. I really want to see some monsters, even if it's just a quick glance at one one time. All right, which way am I actually supposed to go? Is it this way? Irene, I heard there was trouble here and decided to come see for myself. Doesn't seem as though getting any closer would be wise, however. I think I'll keep my distance and watch the drama unfold from afar. Probably smart, considering the monsters. I think we are headed the right direction, though. Mining sure is risky work. I just hope they all make it out okay. That's not Leo over there, is it? Actually, it's a woman, so I suppose not. Ooh, the purple-haired one? Hmm, I don't remember seeing anyone like that in, Selsedin, in the Selsedin army. There she is. What is taking so long? Hurry it up. Get the injured out of here. Y yes ma'am. The safety of the miners is our highest priority. Make certain all of them are accounted for. Uh, uh, understood. Huh? Wh who's that now? That's Governor General Griselda. She just got here recently. Seems Commander Leo's away on business today, so she was assigned here in, in his place. I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. I came all this way to the mine so I could see the Rom Romans screw up, not do their jobs. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Guess you can't win them all. Are you the last? N no, the head miner and a few others got trapped in the room the monsters came out of. Please, please help them. Counting the head miner, how many are left? Three, I think. Understood. You may rest now. We will see to it that the others are rescued. You two. There are miners trapped inside who need our help. Make the necessary preparations and head in immediately. Uh, but, but we haven't received any orders from the commander yet. This is an emergency and I am in charge. Prioritize the safety rescue of the miners above all else. There is no need to eliminate the monsters inside. Uh, hey, Sancho, who's higher rank, the commander or the governor general? <laughs> the, gover the governor general, of course, idiot. There's no time to waste, move it. Y yes, ma'am. Sancho and Ponza. Ooh, what's this? The governor general sure seems a hell of a lot more dependable than Commander Leo. Shame you can't say the same about those soldiers, but let's wait and see, I guess. Maybe she can whip them into shape? A strange orb of light suddenly began shining nearby, yet no one else seemed able to see it but at all. Unique action. As you progress, you will find certain locations and objects upon which target circles appear. Uh, switch, the appro switch to the appropriate character, press triangle to activate that character's unique action, and an event will occur. If the circle is red, use a different character. Okay, cool. Um, touching the light. Adol can regain lost memories by touching orbs of light. Alright, you got it. I'm guessing when this little uh, visual effect shows up is when we can do that. Now, somebody remind me. Somebody let me know who um, is uh, super familiar with East games. Is Griselda the one who showed up late in the game in East 8? 
Just a yes or a no on Griselda. That's all I need to know. Touch the light. He began to feel a light headache and hear voices echoing inside his head. I couldn't believe my ears when I heard that you repelled one of Sis's knives with just your sword. She never misses. I honor the skill and courage you have displayed by crossing the territory of the beasts. Yeah, he might not look like much, but his skill with a sword is really something. You'll have to fight me one-on-one -on -one sometime. Okay, cool. So this is probably how we're going to unravel the mystery a little bit, is by finding these memories. Adol's maximum HP increased by 10. Sword? Was I a swordsman? Adol felt an uncontrollable urge to get involved. It was simply too much to bear. He had to try to help resolve the situation. Natural adventure. His instincts are kicking in, man. Open the camp menu and select the memories icon. Memories you have regained can be rewatched as many times as desired. Okay. We don't need to rewatch that, but we will talk to all these people. Y yes, ma'am. There's no time to waste. Arrange the additional personnel here at once. He said that there are three miners still trapped inside, but everyone else is safe and sound. A few got injured, but fortunately no one's died. Not yet, anyway. Now we just need the head miner and the others to come out alive. I really hope they're okay. Me too. Occasionally we'll stumble upon a ruin while digging and strange creatures will start showing up. It's not like this is the first time that's happened, but the closer we get to the great forest, the more vicious the monster we f monsters we find are. This is why I've always been against digging anywhere near that place. The head miner and the others got trapped in a room with a huge monster. I'm so ashamed of myself for not being able to do anything. How could I just run away like that? You need to focus on resting, not blaming yourself, okay? Come on, have a drink of water. Calm down. Okay. We'll talk to these three. I know it's not very nice, but I kind of came here just to see the ro- Oh, we already- s Yeah. Oh, I guess that's the new governor general everyone's been talking about. Seems like quite the go-getter from the looks of it. Alright, let's head in. Don't let him hit you! Whoa, hold on now. Ah, it's Durin. Alright. I uh, step away from you for just a few minutes and you find you wandering in here alone, huh? Where do you think you're going? Uh, I heard a strange voice. Are you sure you weren't just hearing things? You obviously suffered a blow to the head if you wound up with amnesia. Adel explained to Durin what happened at the mine entrance. I think I get it now. You're one of those people, aren't you? One of those people? Wow. How rude. Just kidding. Nothing I hate more in this whole wide world than you naive, meddlesome little do-gooders. <laughs> you just have to try and solve everyone else's problems, and you drag others down with you while you're doing it. Well, I know better than to try and talk to your kind out of these crazy stunts. But if you must go, at least take this. And we have a weapon. Oh yeah, I recognize these sound effects from 8. <laughs> I don't want your corpse on my conscience. I can't believe you were seriously thinking of wandering in here barehanded. Come to think of it, if you've lost all your memories, does that mean you've forgotten how to fight too? Maybe? That's really not something you should be saying with a straight face. Especially not in a mind full of monsters. Fine, I'll come part of the way with you. Only part of the way though, you got it? Thanks, Durin. <laughs> Sure, come on, let's get going. He might be a decent dude. Okay, equipment. Open the camp menu and select equip. Select the type of equipment. Select an item from the list. Pretty standard stuff. So this opens up some other menu. This is not the camp menu. L1. Hmm. Leave it to me. That's reminiscent of... Oh, right, nice circle right, switches right, between right. them. Uh, camp menu is options. Let's equip. We've got ourselves a short sword, strength 9. We've got defense 9. You've got strength 8, defense 9. Okay. 
our skills. Looks like we don't have any, but you have one. So it's on circle. Oh, yep, that's right. R1 and circle, huh? So let's see. Circle, me. then R1. All right, we'll, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out as we go. Okay, so square is our attack button. Huh. This is a pretty old looking monument. What? What did you just do? Um, I don't really know. Oh, yeah, I suppose you wouldn't. Looks like it's been buried here for a long time. Oh well, let's just focus on getting out of here. No time to be worrying about old statues. Okay, is there a button that pulls up a map? Monuments and retrying. Touching a stone monument restores all HP and cure status effects. Okay. Retrying. Upon game over, you can retry from the last monument you touched. Or the last town or camp you visited. Okay, good to know. Kind of like our save point then. Man, it's going to take a minute to get used to the, what buttons are what in this game. Okay. Um, R2 opens up the big map. Should I go the other way first? Let's go check it out. Got ourselves a nice little roll here. Roll dodge. And this is blocked. Several boulders are blocking the way. It seems the commotion caused a cave in. Hmm, looks like we're not getting through here. Gonna have to look for another route. Leave it to, Leave me. It to me. So we got a block with a uh, triangle, it looks like. So attack is square. Block triangle. X is dodge. Circle switches. Me. And then I think the R1 is gonna be what we press to do Leave our to unique me. skills. I mean, I know they're monsters, but they're kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, these are monsters, all right. <sighs> what are they doing this close to the entrance? How does it feel to hold a sword again, Adol? You know, honestly, it feels pretty natural. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Okay, try taking these monsters on by yourself to start with. They seem pretty weak, so they should make for a nice warm-up. Okay, battle controls. Square, triangle, X, and circle to switch characters. All the things we just, uh, can be reassigned. That's nice. So if we don't like this, we can switch them around. It, I mean, they do feel like weird buttons to me, but we're gonna try and keep the natural ones and get used to the buttons that they have mapped. Looks like your body remembers how to use a sword, even if your brain doesn't. Awesome, you learned a new skill in that fight too. Make sure you equip it before we move on though. You can only use skills when you've got them equipped. Okay, learn and equip skills. Party members may learn skills when fighting tough foes. Once a skill is learned, it can be set to a button by selecting skills from the camp menu. Skills can be used in combat when set. Using skills, hold your attack until your character flashes. Then the next strike will be charged. Charged attacks gain SP. Hold your attack until your character flashes. Then the next strike will be charged. Charged attacks gain SP. Hold R1 and press uh, any of those buttons to activate the skill assigned to that button. So we need to get SP by charging our attacks. Where's our SP? Maybe it's only when we attack enemies. That would make sense, otherwise you could really abuse it. So, once we get into the next fight, we'll have to uh, try and figure that out. Okay, Rising Edge. Ooh, I think I remember this one from uh, 8. SP-10 launches enemy into the air with a backhanded slash. Okay, if I'm holding a R1. Okay, so the little sundial in the bottom right-hand corner is what's going down when I do that. So we're going to have to keep an eye out on uh, how we're gaining those uh, 
those SPs. Alright, I also have to keep an eye out for uh, what items and like chests look like in this game. Okay, iron ore and coals. Down in the bottom left hand is where I'm seeing that. Um, resource uh, gathering is a big part of this game. It was in 8, so uh, I imagine it's very important in this game as well. These monsters aren't going to be as easy to deal with as the last lot. My strike attacks aren't too effective against soft-bodied creatures like these, but your sword slash attacks should do the job nicely. On the other hand, those tough-looking ones over there might repel your sword, but my fists and kicks can smash them up good. In other words, we've both got enemies we're strong against and enemies we're weak against. You focus on monsters weak to slash attacks, and I'll focus on ones weak to strike attacks. Got it? Got it. Okay, attack types, characters attack type, slash strike or pierce. Uh, determines how much damage is dealt to different types of enemies. So, blue is ineffective, and yellow is effective. Okay, so if we notice when we're attacking something new, it, and we get blue numbers, then we know that we are ineffective, we should try somebody else. If an enemy is difficult to damage, try switching to a character with a different attack type. Alright, pressing L3 allows you to view an enemy's name, level, and weakness. Okay, more detailed information is available in the monster section of the journal. So, L3. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. Starting to get the hang of fighting again? Oh, and just in case you need it, I'll give you one of these. Honey potion. Probably health, right? Blush. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> uh, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't say that kind of thing with a straight face. It's embarrassing. Anyway, that's a healing item. Always good to keep a few on hand. If your health's low and you think you're in trouble, use one while you still can or forever hold your peace. All right. Select items in the camp menu, or press L2 to open the item menu. Select the Use tab, select the item to use, then the target character. Okay. Use Honey Potion. Recovers 100 HP. We're good for now. So, fighting enemies naturally uh, pulls uh, your SP up, it looks like. But we can also, there's apparently something about charging up your next attack with that as well that might give you more SP. So that might be a strategy we need to uh, take advantage of. Oh, I keep on pushing circle to dodge. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to continue trying to uh, use the standard map on this. Control mapping. Okay, another honey potion. That's good. Ooh, a big boy. Hey, Bonza, you okay? <laughs> Sancho! I think my leg... Yeah, these two don't seem like they're uh, the most effective soldiers in the Roman army. Stop whining, or the commander's gonna yell at us when he gets back. <laughs> Let's just go. Uh, we're here to help. Someone's coming to help us. Help! I guess we can't just leave them. Out of all the monsters we've fought so far, these look like the toughest. Just think of this as a chance to review everything you've learned. Give them all you've got. Okay. Extra skills. The extra gauge increases when a skill hits a foe. Um, okay, the more SP it costs, the more the gauge will go up. When the gauge is full... Okay, so we have to use our skills in order to get the extra filled up, which is that yellow thing there. When the gauge is full, press 
L1 while holding R1 to use a powerful extra skill. Okay. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Oh, whoops. Look at that. Oh, that was good. Did you notice that he ran over there and uh, hit that thing to gather those uh, items from that vein? I thought I was gonna die. Come on now. Oh, come on now. We're, you're just exaggerating. By the way, who are you two? Oh, just past an information dealer and his amnesiac do-gooder companion. You two might not be any kind of match for what's in here. You'd do well to head back. Yeah, that seems to be clear. <laughs> Sancho, let's do that. I don't think I can go on. My leg still hurts. I knew I wasn't cut out to be a soldier. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're telling me. Suppose we might as well leave for now. He's not going to be any use like this. Take care of yourselves, you two. Sancho and Panza. Bye. Uh, so Southern Army is technically part of Roman's uh, armed forces. But it's made up of more locals than trained Romans. As you can see, morale isn't exactly high. That means it's our time to shine. Let's keep moving. But yeah, Durin actually came over and hit this when we started that fight, which is interesting. Okay, we came from up there, so we need to go this way. We seem to have gotten our health back. So one of the things about this game that we're gonna unlock later is um, map making. So I'm gonna actually be trying to explore as much of the maps as possible in this early area, um, because usually that's a big part of the game is basically uncovering all of the maps in all of the areas. So we're just gonna try and get rid of as much of this fog of war as possible. Okay, soft boys is for the sword. Whoops, I keep on trying to do circle for dodge again. Okay, iron ingot. Damn, looks like it's locked. Let's see. The fighting in these games are very fast paced, and I really like that. He's right, the gate is definitely locked up tight. Nope, it's not budging. Don't think there's any other way to go deeper into the mine though. Well, I guess we need to uh, try and find this key, huh? Yeah, sounds like a plan. There's gotta be a key somewhere nearby. Um, I think this game is supposed to be roughly like 22 to 25 hours or something, so. Now, there's a mechanic me. about perfect dodges and stuff in 8. I wonder if that's going to come back here as well. It probably will. Okay, chest is locked up too. This too? Hmm, still, this is a much simpler lock than the one on the gate. No problem, leave it to me. Hey, cool. Alright. Lock picking. Dern can pick open, pick open locked chests, allowing you to obtain the items inside. Okay. Me. <laughs> oh, nice. Looks like that did the trick. Right then, let's go get that gate open and see what's waiting us, uh, waiting for us behind it. Leave it to me. Okay, nothing to go that direction. So yeah, we're going forward. Turn. 
Nice. It looks like we uh, got a save spot here. Let's hit that, and then we're gonna venture to the left first. Monument is emitting a faint glow. Rota Droplet. What's that? Recovers 10% HP and revives a fallen ally. Oh, cool. Okay, revive item. Okay, man. Lock, dodge, attack. Right now, both of our skills are on circle. Do we have any new skills? I don't think so, right? Yeah, just rising edge. No accessories. And party menu doesn't mean much to us right now. Huh? This place feels a lot different from the rest of the mine. It's like some kind of old ruin. Okay, boss incoming. Aldevos, the Awakening Armored Beast. Oh dear. Hold on. Is this the monster that started all the trouble? Watch out, Adol. If you don't want to die, you better hurry up and remember how to fight, right? Oh dear. I'm not worried at all. You're worried. Battle tips. The following sequence will allow you to fight effectively. Obtain SP with charged attacks. Use skills um, to charge the extra gauge and unleash an extra skill. Okay. Let's try and do that with Adol for the most part for the time being. Leave it to me. Oh yeah, we need to use our skills, huh? Ouch. Trying to do like a perfect guard. Okay, I need to use a honey potion because I did not do that well. Oh, there we go. Alright. We got a perfect dodge there. Let's switch.
keep pushing the wrong button. Okay, I need to like work on this timing. I need to get some perfect dodges, so I'm gonna let myself die while I test this out a little bit. Oh, that felt pretty good. Maybe perfect guard? No. There we go, there's one. Okay, got another one. All right, let's go ahead and retry. That's what I need to get good at. Okay, we need to make sure we let these charge. Gosh. Okay, I'm trying so hard to dodge with circle. I feel like I just need to make my dodge circle. Ah, I just want to get used to this though. Yeah, that was a great time to uh, pause, huh? Oh, he does a side sweep. See, I'm doing it again. Okay, so what did it tell me the order was? I'm, I'm having a hard time remembering what causes what. What is gonna fill the extra gauge? Using skills, right? Now what does the charged attack do again? Gives me SP to use the skills. Okay, so the charged attack gives me SP. I use the skills to get the extra and then I use the extra. And the extra is what's gonna do us a lot of good. So that, that's my problem. I keep on thinking the charge skill, the charged attack is gonna give me extra, and it's not. It's the skills that are giving me the extra. So, Leave it to me. ugh. All right, that's our last healing item. We gotta get good now. Leave it to me. 
Ooh, okay. I thought I'd get some iframes through that. My god, that, that one hurts. Oh, hey, look at this. tried to dodge. Okay. Well, clearly I suck at this game. There we go. He doesn't have a weakness, right? Okay, when he's downed, I think we get SP back no matter what, so you should just well on him at that point. Okay, so you can walk back into that thing if you're not careful. Starting to get the hang of it a little bit.
I could get more perfect dodges, we'd be doing a lot better. Because I think you get SP when you get perfect dodges. Oh, I rolled the wrong way. Ouch. into those. But, um, you know, just take some getting used to. Um, it's a battle system that I have not played in quite some time. Whew, that was close. But man, I gotta say, you're pretty strong. You might have lost your memories, but I'm starting to see how you were able to make it out of that forest alive. No one's more surprised than I am. And yet you came wandering in here without a sword? <laughs> Hopeless doesn't even begin to, begin to describe you. You know, that's fair. You too. Oh, here's the three. Couldn't believe my eyes, you actually managed to take down that huge monster. I'm Wagner, the head miner. I'm so glad you're okay. I can't thank you enough. You literally saved all our lives from certain doom. As long as that monster was there, we had nowhere to go. At least none of you are too worse for wear. Thank goodness for small favors, I guess. Absolutely. I'm eternally grateful that no one was hurt, although there is something worth note that occurred just in the next area. See, there's a strange statue there, and at one point it started to glow, but that seemed to calm the monsters a bit. I might have just been... it might have just been my imagination, but I could swear it actually happened. What kind of statue? What kind of statue? Huh, well, it had wings on its back, very distinct. You look like you want to see it even more now, Adel. If you're that interested, you should go take a look for yourself. We, on the other hand, should be leaving. I'm thinking everyone's quite worried about us by now. Sure thing. Take care of yourselves. So, you're into these kinds of places, huh? Well, we're here anyway, so we might as well take a look, uh, quick look around. Okay. What's that? Is that the statue Wagner was talking about? Hadal was suddenly stricken with a violent, intense headache. Hadal. I truly sorry this way certain you return this false sanctuary. I have. Okay, we're only getting uh, bits and pieces of that conversation. Hey, Adel, you okay? Was it that voice you heard outside again? Is Dogi in this game? Dogi apparently shows up in a bunch of different games, but is Dogi in this one? You don't look so good. I think it's about time we head out of, head out of here ourselves. Suddenly a light appeared before the two, concealing a small winged object within it. A silver wing. Hold on. Whoa, that sure wasn't here before. Where the hell did it come from? It sure looks old. I wonder what it was I wonder what it was used for. Do you think this ruin has anything to do with the voice you heard? I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess you wouldn't. Sorry. I know that when miners dig up ruins, monsters sometimes show up, or 
other strange things start to happen. Seems like this is just another unsolved mining mystery for the history books. Well, I'm ready to go any time. When you're done down here, let's head back to the surface. Okay. A winged statue silently stands before you. Okay, guess we just head back up, huh? Thank you all for being here watching East Memories of Salsetta. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want to, go ahead and check out my Patreon in the description down below. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.